Hey, what's up people, and welcome back to another Pokemon video. And this is gonna be a shorter one, but I couldn't pass up sharing such a cool find that I had. And it's been a while since I've found something this cool in the wild, but last weekend, uh, I went to like a big, there's like a downtown yard sale type thing, big area, a bunch of people selling things. Last year, I found a really nice CRT TV uh, for a dollar, which I use for my Wii, my GameCube, my N64, everything. Uh, but this year, finally, which I didn't expect it at all, I found some uh, vintage Pokemon cards. And one of them, I gotta say, I was kind of shocked. Uh, and I got them all for like a really, it was a, a really good bargain price. And they're all additions to my collection that are going to be staying in there. But um, I'll save the best one for last. And we're just going to go through uh, everything that I got and put them into new sleeves. Because surprisingly, they're all really clean. I might have to try and get some, you know, those black specks off of some. But let's get into it. So the first one I got, um, there, the kid was selling them in these Darkness Ablaze sleeves. Uh, he said that a lot of these were his uncle's cards that uh, were given to him. But we've got a really nice, uh, my computer just screamed at me. What about that? Uh, Sabrina's Haunter. See, uh, they're in nice condition. It's got like, you know, it's old and it's clearly not been in a binder or anything, but all these old cards, uh, I think some of them might even go into some of my master sets, but we're gonna sleeve them all up. So we got a nice Sabrina's Haunter, and then these, uh, they might not be that interesting to a lot of people, but to me, they're really cool. Uh, we got a lot of first edition cards, and all of the ones that are not, uh, like Neo sets are first edition, or are German. Like, we got Dunkel's Blitzer right here. But I mean, it's a first edition rocket card, um, a German dark Jolteon. It's beautiful. I love it. And it's fun to see the German names on all of them. Uh, and I think all, actually every single one of these is first edition except for the last one I'm going to show you. Uh, we got this. I'll try and say them all. Sabla Yiru. I don't know. He's got Combo Griffey though. I think this one's still German. The name kind of sounds... Oh, actually, I think this one's French because it's PV. Yeah, so maybe the fossil ones are French. We'll have to see. We'll keep see if that trend keeps up. But here's definitely another German one from the Rocket set. Um, another Dunkel's Dark Primeape, Dunkel's Rossoff. That's definitely, <laughs> if you can't tell by the names on that one, that's definitely German. Uh, here's one that's not um, foreign. A really nice Erica's Tangela. I didn't see a lot of, I mean, there's whitening around the edges of these, but I'm not too picky when it comes to these cards. But a nice Erica's Tangela. Uh, this one's PV. Yeah, first edition. And it's also fossil. I just rubbed one of the little black spots off of it. So I guess all the fossil cards are French. I didn't notice that. We got a nice French Cedra first edition here. Something about the different, the older foreign cards are just really, really cool to me. Uh, and then we've got... I thought this was German because it says Krabos Kingler, one of my favorite Pokemon. Beautiful, first edition. And it doesn't have much, this one was pretty clean, whitening up in the corner. But then we got some really nice English first editions, like this Slowpoke. I want to say I'm really bad with the Neo sets, but I think this is Neo Genesis. I think, I'm not 100% sure. But I really love the art on that Slowpoke. And then... This is just a regular Rocket Abra that I got. And it's also very, very clean. I'll take a better look at it once I sleep it up. Yeah, I didn't see too many blemishes on that one, but I do, I think I already have a Rocket's Abra. Um, here's my, probably one of my favorite ones out of this. Um, this is a German one, if you can't tell by it, that, but it's Voltorb, everybody knows, my favorite. Uh, first edition, and it has, <laughs> Geshwindik <laughs> Itzibal. We're gonna say that I said that right, but that's a really cool uh, That's a nice one to go to my I've got just a collection of Voltorb cards and it's getting right into it And then these are a pair. I'll sleeve them up, but I got a first edition Flaffy from uh, I think it's Neo Genesis Tell me if I'm wrong, please. I got to get my Neo sets down and then a first edition Mareep and back here you can see I have this first edition Dark Ampharos, but I think that's from, I think that's Neo Genesis. I think. I always get that messed up. But these two cards go together. Two really nice, I was happy to find those because those are harder sets 
um, the come by anymore, and it's one that I would really like to complete a master set of one day. Then we have a tentacle, which is, that's a French one. Giraffe rig, uh, so these all came from the same set, first edition as well. I mean, this is just probably one of my favorite finds I've had. I like that one a lot. And we've got, oh, here's another German rat, dark, or Dunkels, let me not say it wrong. Dunkels, Ratty Carl, oh, Ratty Carl, he's nagging, and he's hyper -jean. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then we, we're still going with these. I got just a regular Rockets Meowth. I was surprised that the kid just had them all like in a box. I didn't have the heart to tell. You know, uh, there are some fake, let's look at that Meowth. There were some fake cards in there, but they were those really thick, like, gold cards. I'm sure if you're a collector, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I see kids have them, especially all the time. Um, don't worry, I checked all these, and they checked out. But we got a base set to Ghastly, which I I don't think I'm missing that from my base set to. Uh, I have all the hollows, but I don't have all the commons and uncommons. So we'll have to see. Taros from base set 2. That might be another one I'm missing that I haven't checked on yet. But we'll take a look. Let's see? And then here's one of my favorites. I keep saying one of my favorites. Another really nice one. A little whitening on the back. But a first edition Glue Manda. So a German Charmander. And I have um, Glue Rock. I have a German Charizard from base set. Not first edition though. But this goes along nicely somewhere up here in my graded cards. I won't dig through them, but I have a, a graded first edition Charmander uh, English from Rocket. But just a really another really cool one to see. And then uh, these, I guess I grabbed them out of my car by accident. These are just cards from my car. <laughs> I, I was like, what are, I don't remember buying those. But here it is from this, uh, the piece de resistance out of these cards that I found at this yard sale is an Expedition Hollow Arbok. And we're gonna take it out. I know this kid was really nice put it in the sleeve but we're gonna take it out of there and take a look at it before I sleeve it up oh look at how shiny I love 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 the expedition cards and they get a little harder and harder to come by as time goes on but uh, the back of this one it's gonna need I'm gonna give it uh, the little cleaning procedure I do to try and get rid of the black spots but wow I was just uh, I, the kid was like oh there's a Arbok in there that's worth five thousand dollars and I was like I don't know about that definitely not a five thousand dollar card but it's also definitely not something you see every day and it's going straight into my big box I don't have enough of a uh, expedition yet to start putting them all in the binder but wow I was really happy to find this and shout out to the kid he was so nice he was uh, selling off cards he said that I think I said this already in the video that his uh, uncle gave these to him a long time ago and he said he was selling some of them to try and buy a booster box. I don't know what booster box he wanted to buy. Uh, hopefully it's a vintage one. But look at this nice little stack of cards. Arbok is beautiful. Sometimes I forget what the arts on the expedition cards even look like. But wow, um, what a great find. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, leave it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much. Again, I think I might have already said this in one of my videos uh, for getting me to 200 subs. And we keep growing a little, little by little. I think we're up to 208 at the point of this video uh, coming out. But hopefully uh, to many more. If you like this, uh, hopefully I can get, do some more finds. Maybe I'll try and make some of those videos uh, like I used to or I'll go to my favorite antique mall closed. But maybe we'll go to some other ones and try and find some cool cards. But this was a really fun find over the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye bye